Why, hello there. It seems that you have tra traversed the world of YouTube and found my video. Well, so it happens that this may be the last episode of Fiasco Plays Grade. Thank you for joining me, and it's gonna be one hell of a ride. Let's do this! Head back. I had to get one more point. Just a sec. I take a potty break. I'm good. What awaits me up here? The attic. And a door. It's World 1. At a cafe on a bright plat. So, oh yeah, on a blo I thought it said at. At a cafe on a bright plaza, most customers sit back, feeling the warmth of the sun, enjoying their cold drinks. But not Tim. He barely notices the sun. Doesn't really taste his coffee. For him, this corner affords a good view of the city, and the teeterings of the passersby, and the arc of a shop girl's hand as he she displays tea to an interested gentleman. Tim hopes to see clues. That night at the cinema, Fictitious adventures lunge implausibly across the screen. The audience here is mixed. Some are pa patrons of the cafe, now sitting excitedly in the plush chairs, eager for another new flavor, for distraction from the boredom of their easy lives. Other seats hold fishermen and farm workers, hoping to forget their toils and rest their hands. Tim is here too, but he is scrutinizing the gloss on the lips on the screen, measuring the angle of the plume of a distant helicopter crash. He thinks he discerned a message. When the cinema closes and most of the audience strolls down the plaza to the south, Tim goes north. People like Tim see the, seem to live oppositely from the other residents of the city, tide and riptide flowing against each other. Tim wants, like nothing else, to find the princess to know her at last. For Tim, this would be momentous, sparking an intense light that embraces that the world, a light that reveals the secret long kept from us, that illuminates or material materializes a final palace where we can exist in peace. But how would this be perceived by the other residents of the city in the world that flows con contra wise contrary wise The light would be intense and warm at the beginning, but then flicker down to nothing, taking the castle with it. It would be like burning down the place we've always called home, where we played so innocently as children destroying all hope of safety forever. That's deep. Also, I wish I could read correctly, so I wouldn't stumble so much. The flower. Oop. This world is back in time. Oops. Shoot. There we go. Ah, shoot. Crap. Alright, I got this. Booyah! Oh, the flower petals are slowly... These flowers are slowly closing. Right, right. He comes flying up. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Crap. Crap. There we go. <gasps> oh no, it's closing! It seems that this will rebuild itself. If I wait long enough, it will rebuild itself. This must wait long enough. Oh, 
Oh, I see. So this is the same level as before. It's just that it's... Shoot. And, uh... Crap. Ah, oh, darn it. This is an interesting concept, to say the least. Ah, darn it. Stupid piece of crap. Kill. Do I still have to kill one of them? I think so. Darn it. Yeah, I think I have to kill one of them from up there. Oh. Oh, yep, saw that coming. He is going to crash down here. Oh no, no, there's fire. There is fire for some reason. This fire, this fire. Careful, careful. Crap. Darn it. That's stuck there for a while. Okay, now it's. Oh, this is doing wonders for my eyes. All of the jumpy. jumpiness. Both lever. Please, please move. Please. God damn. Oh god. Yes. Knew it. Just had to trust her. I got you, princess. Crap. Move, move, move. Ah, crap. Crap. Move. There we go. 
Pull it. Alright, come on. But I'm moving backwards for some reason. What's going on? I don't get it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is... Oh, wow. This is intense. Oh, he tried to stop her with that. Oh, and gets, she gets caught on it. Wow. This is crazy. It's actually using my replay. Holy crap. Pull that to prevent me from getting to her. And she cries for help. And he says he'll help her. Oh, we. Oh. Wow. Now this is real time. Oh my god. Epilogue. The boy called for the girl to follow him, and he took her hand. He would protect her. They would make their way through this oppressive castle, fighting off the creatures made of smoke and doubt, escaping to a life of freedom. The boy wanted to protect the girl. He held her hand or put his arm around her shoulders in a walking embrace to help her feel supported and close to him amid the impersonal throngs of Manhattan. They turned and made their way toward the Saint Canal Saints subway station, and he picked a path through the jostling crowd. He worked his ruler in his compass. He inferred. He deduced. He scrutinized the fall of an apple, a twisting of metal orbs hanging from a thread. He was searching for the princess, and he would not stop until he found her, for he was hungry. He cut rats into pieces to examine their brains, and planted tungsten posts into the skulls of water-starved monkeys. He scrutinized the fall of an apple, the twisting of metal... Uh, through these clues, he would find the princess see her face. After an especially fervent night of tinkering, 
He kneeled behind a bunker in the desert. He held a piece of welder's glass up to his eye and waited. On that moment hung eternity. Time stood still. Space contracted to a pinpoint. It was as though the earth had opened and skies had split. One felt as though he had been privileged to witness the birth of the world. Someone near him said, It worked. Someone else said, Now we are all sons of bitches. Ooh. Wow. The candy store. Everything he wanted was on the opposite side of that pane of glass. The store was decorated in bright colors and the scents wafting out drove him crazy. He tried to rush for the door or just get closer to the glass, but he couldn't. She held him back with great strength. Why would she hold him back? How might she break free of her grasp? How might he break free of her grasp? He considered violence. Oh, right. To pull this first. Then all that. I have to go stand on it. And what exactly is the meaning of this? He cannot say he has understood all of this. Possibly he's more confused now than ever. But all these moments he's contemplated, something has occurred. The moments he felt, the moments feel substantial in his mind, like stones. Kneeling, reaching down towards the closest one, running his hand across it, he finds it smooth and slightly cold. He tests the stone's weight. He finds he can lift it, and the others too. He can fit them together to create a foundation, an embankment, a castle. build a castle of appropriate size, he will need many, great many stones, but what he's got now feels like an acceptable start. Wow. I wonder if I'm still able to get all the stars. Alright, let me go sit down in the bathroom tell you a story. Before I end this episode, I want to quickly say, for those of you who didn't know this, I actually saw this in a, uh, a website, I can't remember what the website was called, but it has like a lot of game facts, and apparently Braid was made as a uh, analogy to the Manhattan Project, which is the atomic bomb. And that was the point of this game being able to go back in time, is that you would see your mistakes and you'd be able to reverse them. It's this whole theme of being able to undo what you did, because apparently every single one of the people who worked on the Manhattan Project wished that they hadn't, that they hadn't done it after they finish the project. So this game is really deep and it's actually pretty fun as long as you enjoy solving really insanely hard puzzles. And the ending was really crazy how like it was all going backwards in time and he was, she was actually running away from him. I'd have to say yeah it, it's great I really and well you know I might come back to it later because those stars at the beginning that you see at the beginning of the game we just saw them they actually like you can collect them they're not just a background and then there's a secret ending when you collect those stars so maybe maybe later 
I'll check that out. All right, thanks for watching the final episode. It was a it was a blast. Although a lot of it may have seemed boring, it was an overall great game. And I hope you subscribe, comment, and watch my other videos because more of this are are coming. See you guys later.